Hi, once again, welcome to Ayotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the mathematical functions in Python. So, basically, before you can use the math function, you need to import the math library or math model from Python. So, I'm going to deal with some few of the math functions in this particular tutorial. We have a function called absolute that's abs absolute and this is basically an inbuilt function and this absolute function basically returns the absolute value of a number so if i should enter so before that i'm going to create a variable and i'm going to call it number i'm going to call this variable number and i'll assign it a negative value so i'm going to say minus 45 so you want to return the absolute value of this what it's going to do is that i just have to call this number i just have to type in number which contain my negative number and i can print this out so let me say print and i'll put everything to bracket this way and then run this so you can see it's giving me what 45 without the minus so this basically returns the absolute value of a number so the negative part of this number will not be retained so this is basically one of the functions we're going to look at in this tutorial so that's the mass function but there are other functions before we can use them we need to import something we call models python comes with a lot of models which we can use to make writing of python codes very easy so one of those functions we can use is the mass function so to use that function we just say import import let's see what now you say math so basically this is the function we need to import once we import this function everything every other functions we want to use we can use it so we're still going to maintain this variable so i'm going to just say 67.9 and i'm going to apply another function in python so we're going to use a seal function so basically to spell the seal the seal is c a i l so that's the sole function and this particular function retains the nearest integer so the nearest integer or a whole number so let's see how this how we can use this so we're going to say print and then we call our seal so and what we're going to do is that before we can use this so we first have to call our model which is mass so mass dot seal so when we run this you can see it's giving us what 68 so this is basically going to give us the nearest integer or a whole number so it has approximated this into what from 67 to 60 what 67 to what 69 so if i change this number to let's say 4 and i run this it's still going to give us what 68 so it's basically run or it's basically retains a value to its nearest what integer or whole number so that is a cell we have other functions and which i'll talk about the flow all these functions will require that you import the mass model so i've imported this and then i can use this function so before you use you have to first course your model run it call this particular function within your model so we have the flow so what is a flow the flow normally runs a decimal number to the nearest whole number so let's see what is going to happen if i run this it's giving was 67 that is the flow what about if i change this to what 69 67.9 you can see we are still getting the 67 so this basically just returns everything into it runs the decimal number to the nearest whole number so you can see there's a bit of difference between what the seal and the flow if i should run seal let me just go ahead and just type in a different number so let me say 355.8 and around flow on this i'm going to get the 355 and then to ignore the 0.8 what about if i try the seal if i try so you see it's approximating it so it's running it to 356 so that is the seal the difference between the seal so the seal is the value to the nearest integer or a whole number and the flow of my runs the decimal number to the nearest whole number so it's a bit tricky so we just have to take note of the rest so we also have exponential exponential is very important as well and exponential will run a value but will make the base equal to e 
so the number will be raised to the base e so that's the exponential value so if i want to run this i just have to just say change this word esp that's the exponential shortly for the short form for exponential we want to use it in python so if i run this number you can see what it's giving me so that's the exponential function of what three five five so this one if i change this to let's say three and i run this it's giving 20.00 so that's the exponential function so it's running a value to the base e so the base is going to be what e like this so the base of that number will be e so this will be raised to the base e so that's the exponential function and it's very important remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel we're going to delve into a lot of functions and other important models in python in order to be part of this you need to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos i'm also going to talk about another function called log we all know about logarithms so we're going to look at a natural log and also look at the log to the base 10. so we can go ahead and say log so this log basically returns the natural logarithm of a number so we want to get a natural logarithm of this number 3 so i've assigned this to the number the variable 3. so this variable 3 has been assigned to this number so anytime i call the log of this i'm basically trying to get the logarithm the natural log of the number 3. so if i run this you can see it's giving me the natural logarithm of the number 3 which is this if i change it to a number let's say 67 and i run this that is it the natural logarithm of the number 67 we also have the log to the base 10 so basically this is going to return that to the base of 10 so if i do this and i run this say this is working it's also giving the logarithm to the base what the base 10 so these are some amazing functions we can use in excel that will make our work very easy you can calculate a lot of things so many amazing stuff and what python i'm also going to talk about the square roots so you can find the square root of a number in python so to type that you just type s q r t so that's how to write the square root function in what python so remember you need first need to call your model dot the function you want to use and you can go ahead if i don't want to use this number i can just go ahead and let me just type 80 over here and run this it's going to work if i type in 64 run this is what eight if i type this 25 and i find the square root of this is five okay so you can decide not to create a variable to store just make it just one line you can ignore that but if i want to do it in a way which will make my code do it in a way that will make my code very long i just have to put the number here and when i change the value over here to be updated so if i type in 25 you can see we're still going to get five if i run this we're still going to get five so basically this is how to use these functions in python we can also get a, a power of a number so with this case in this case it's going to be going to give two values so if i type in pow which means i'm trying to find the power of a number in this case i have to give two numbers so i have my first number so i want to try to the power two i have to type it this way and when i run this code we're going to raise three to the power two which basically we know is going to be what nine okay if i change this okay, with power you don't need to do that we we can do it in a different way you can just go ahead and say three here and then we come down here and let's say we type another number you say this number is two so in this case we just have to okay so these are two variables we just have to bring it this way then we'll bring the second number here this is this so this is basically taking the second number the first number and raising it to the power two which we are representing over here so this basically is supposed to give us nine as we want so you can see this is working as well so these are some of the functions you can use in python basically you will need them a lot in your program especially i want to create an application where you'll be trying to manipulate calculate some important mass values you need to know this particular one before you can use it you just have to import your mass model we can also get a mass more number get the max of a different number let's say we have two numbers we want to see the largest number among them we can use the max function also use the max function which is also very important so you can go ahead and say print and then we can find the max values so you can see the maximum number between two so i can say this and this i want to find the maximum number i want to return the maximum which basically is five so if i run this it's going to give me five okay so this is also inbuilt function you don't need to import 
the max function that is why i'm not using it if i need a max function for this i should have done it this way and then it will work but this is inbuilt function this way and then we can also use a main which stands for minimum when we run this it's going to give us a minimum value so these are some of the amazing functions we'll be using in python but we're going to deeper and look at how we can use this in a real world application and see how it will return our results whatever we want let's see how this is going to work for us remember to subscribe and keep visiting our youtube if you enjoyed this video like and share with friends thank you so much for watching this short tutorial so like come your way another time stay safe bye bye